Kudos. <laughs> so, so odds are this kid, if he if he makes it out of the pandemic, he's probably be going to be getting like a very very quick six figure salary offer. That out of is straight up serial killer. I mean, that it only goes one way. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Fair, yeah. Fair. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone here at LGC Actual Switching the Bits, doing the Nightmare Fuel all under Linux, joined each week by the human Vuvazela himself, Jordan Svang. I blow. He does blow. And the man on the island, Pedro, Microsoft loves Linux, Mateus. Staying up late. I suck. Yes, I, I like how Jordan waits till we start the show, and he's like, "You know what? Would be awesome, sniffing in that mic." <laughs> yep, yeah, it's 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 part of the cocaine Voltron, man. <laughs> you you got to wait until we get to that part, baby. To go with you, Uh-oh. Shot Realm Dynamic. Jordan is live, helping us form co. Kane. No, this is the part where you supposed to sniff. Wow, oh. God damn it. <laughs> we are. Yeah, I can't handle too much of that. So before we get going in our super serial um, podcast about Linux games, we like to see what's going on in each other's lives, man. What's what, what's new with you? Uh, I don't know what, Pedro? Uh, not much going on here. Work has been uh, a bitch <laughs> uh, after the Christmas break. You know, during like the Christmas time, it was nice. There weren't a whole lot of people working. Uh, our workload decreased significantly. Now there's a bunch of people hiring um, for really low uh, skill, basically contracts until the end of March. So, oh, they're going to be here for two months. That, 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 that's fucking great. And we need to send out a laptop. Okay. Fuck. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's back. <laughs> How about you? Oh, keeper of possum like dogs. I don't, I don't know. Am I still muted? Can I, can I talk? Am I not, am I not going to be mugging to the, no, no. All right. Well, I, I have molds. I have so I have, I have so much molds. <laughs> Moldy, moldy oldies, that's what they call me. Trying to get someone to pay to get mold removed, but... I don't know, we'll find out. On what? On a house! Oh, okay, so, see, I knew there was some context clues that we no, got no, to drop. No, no, he's got mold. Just mold. I, just, <laughs> you just, use just, your imagination, he's in, got mold, okay? In general, I got, I got mold, it's in my brain, it's up my nose. It's, it, it's in my navel, just a little bit, but I wouldn't go looking too far in there. Oh, he man. He might get eaten. So, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you might have noticed that we were talking about it in the previous super shows. And I was like, I, I, but uh, last week, I was like, you ever see anything I'm like, I, I, I just want to taste that. I, I want to see if I can make that work. And it was stupid cheap. Um, microphone preamp that was like, here, um, this thing. That's a Yamaha 88HR. Very loud. Um, motorcycle yes yeah uh this was an interesting piece of kit man i I saw it sitting around i'm like you know what i I think i want one of these and they were originally like twenty two hundred dollars so you find yeah you you found them at like the new york philharmonic uh carnegie hall and places like that i guess with the pandemic and stuff like that people are updating their systems and you can get them for like 150 bucks now why well you gotta have some specialized hardware just to like get one of them hooked up. You know, it's eight mic preamps, but it only it's all digital. There's no analog out, and it's got a D sub connector on the back. I mean, I mean, oh, I was I was just gonna say most most folks aren't going to like concerts these days, right? So that, that's what I'm saying. To... It's like it's a mixture of like some places just <laughs> dumping their equipment because the ones that you mm-hmm. were finding are stacks. You know, these things were in concert halls, and right, right, right. The whole thing about them that was the reason people bought them is because you can digitally control it to like 200 at one time from one console. Ah. Yeah. But the fantastic, uh, not little devices either. They're real deep, but I ran into this and I started looking, I'm like, Hmm, all right. Can I do anything about that? So I have this, uh, RME 9632. I'm like, eh, can I adapt that? And I found the pinouts for it. I'm like, okay, that's the thing. Turns out you can buy a cable. You know, just a snake that plugs in the DB25 on the back and it gives the ESCBU. I'm like, okay, for the RME, I can get another breakout cable. That was going to be like 160 bucks for those two cables, man. 
It's an um, expensive cable. Hell no, it wasn't. Not what I got done with it. Because, um, yeah, I, I just bought two prototypes. I got a DB9 and uh, DB25 proto connectors. I got the oldest Cat5 in the house. Screw that in. And there's the end of, um, yeah, the story about I'm not paying 130 bucks for a damn cable. <laughs> <laughs> and we're using it right now. I only had one audio file come at me on Twitter that was like, yo, um, you should probably be using like a shielded connect. I think it, it, it's digital. Stay in your Gold lane. Gold tipped. Right. <laughs> this was a cable I pulled out of a closet, man. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't what do you think I shit shielded cables I just reach up my butthole and there's like a coil of it that I can just pull out <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I'll probably do like a little video for that because you know I just get the whole meter on. and I genuinely got the oldest uh, cat 5 because like, just like this this isn't gonna work and right um, the, the, this is checking to see if running signal across any wire will do it. This this was like just testing the pinouts because hey, never trust pinouts on the internet, and because mm. something can blow up. And it's work. We're using it right now. I mean, it's connected. It's doing its thing, and uh, yeah, I consider that an absolute win, just like I consider the horse. I mean, the horse requires like a fifty thousand dollar cable to interface with oh, it. Oh shit! But yeah, I, yeah, you you can't make that with a Cat Five. You need like a Cat Nine Thousand. <laughs> it's the steam Linux update. Oh shit! Let's talk about this, man. Realistic possibility. John Travolta? 48 million esports <laughs> tournament could be held in maps without New Zealand, says gaming tycoon Gabe Newell. He said that. That's great. That's not what any news outlet took from that. Now is it? Mm -mm. Not even no. a little bit. <laughs> not even a little bit. They looked at that and they're like, okay, well, he also addresses some other things. Like uh, Gabe said, you know, Alex, Alex has got us re-energized here at Valve. We want to make some more single player games and some old properties and stuff like that that we haven't thrown a lot of love to. And, you know, in all fairness, man, way back in the day, Gabe said, you know, there's not going to be another Half-Life game until there's like a massive shift in how like games are played. Now, unfortunately, Gabe chose the one where you have to stand in place, look around, awkwardly grasp at shit while getting face fucked by a toaster. But hey, if it led to them going back and revisiting games, you know, we, we can get like Half-Life 2, Episode 2, Part 2, Act 2 and Left for Dead Forever. I, I'm all for it, man, if this is what this leads to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I yeah. mean, the 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 what Ben was sort of hinting towards is the article's like, oh, apparently Gabe's a little bit of a key weeaboo, uh, and he wants to move the entire operation over to uh, New Zealand. I'm sure Liz Coulty would be ecstatic by this development, but like, yeah, I mean, it would be it would be nice to see some new single player stuff from Valve. Um, I, I mean, we're, odds are it may not get released to the general public because they'll be like, ah, it's shit. But I don't know. I'd like to see Valve step out of like they, they, they make a lot of first person experiences. It would be cool to see them make like a like a big open world RPG or like some crazy platformer or something. Just like oh, go Dota would like a word with you, dude. Dota, okay. Dota is not an RPG. <laughs> it is too. If you want to believe, you got to think about this, man. I mean, there's kids, and I don't mean kids like ten year old, eleven year old. Uh, that have, uh, you know, they played Steam games, but Steam's never made a game their entire life because we're not counting Artifact. You know, Steam. Or, 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 or Dota 2. <laughs> or CSGO. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, so much for uh, actually releasing a game with a 3 on the end, which was something that Gabe also said a few years ago. Uh, but I guess it's a meme now, and he did when, you know, they brought up the whole, oh yeah, so some more Half-Life, some more portals. Like I've done very well to not answer questions about those games in many years, and I'm going to continue not doing so. Mm. Uh, and he did say that um, he would address those games at the point that those questions that could be asked about them would be moot, which is a very clever way to say uh, by the time those games are released or anything along those lines, those questions will be pointless. So, yeah. That's yeah. a, that's a very good non-answer as far as there, things go. There, there's a legend on the internet that says if you're able to challenge and defeat Gabe Newell in single combat, he'll tell you the status of Half-Life 3. Yeah. <laughs> Don't but try. No, one, I do have no, no one has survived. He's killed them all. 
Every single one of them. There's... Ask the if the um the entire Valve uh team moves to uh, New Zealand, does the sheep to human uh, population ratio reach one to one at that point? Yes. N- no, you need like an influx of about two point two billion people in New Zealand to match the sheep population. <laughs> you need to have like China uh, levels okay. of human population <laughs> to to tip that scale. Well, hey man, we got a little bit of antitrust news to talk about Mm -hmm. we do uh from uh well everyone's favorite except for the uk's uh trade commission uh the eu and basically they have fined valve capcom (laughs) focus home interactive cock media and zenimax for a total of 7.8 million euros uh why because they were geo locating uh or geo blocking people from say uh you live in germany but you know that if you go to austria unless it's 1930 something at which point we're completely different story but uh uh, usually if you go to another country that has a lower medium income then the game prices will be cheaper and that's one of the things that uh, being in the european economic area would allow you to do you can shop around that's something that is very much if not just allowed heavily encouraged and those companies valve included were found to be in breach so they all uh, got majorly sued the biggest one was actually focus home interactive which uh, got slapped for two point uh 888 million euros which i guess if you're french and you're pulling this kind of shit on uh you know your home turf yeah the scrutiny fairy is going to be looking at you mm. is going to I, be looking at you real good <laughs> I, I i just want to go back and revis- revisit this notion pedro raises of like i'm in 1937 france and i'm worried that i can't get cheap steam games <laughs> I was Something. I said Germany and yeah. Listen, man. <laughs> listen, it's part it of this fanfic. Ma- Leave him alone. Um, does, does, doesn't make much of a difference. I, but yeah. I, I kind of low key um, double respect for Valve because you know they they hit him with us fine, and of course Valve's only response was and and on top of that, <laughs> out of all the companies, Valve was the only one that just gave negative fucks. They didn't participate in assisting them with their um investigation <laughs> valve literally walked out with like pocket change here want some more well dance monkeys the the i mean the the companies that did cooperate they only got like 10 percent knocked off the fine well, they did I mean, 100 and, i'll tell you exactly what happens but you did the back of the napkin calculations of like is this no it's not fucking worth our time here's the money go away well and and like the the, the, the reason they're doing that geo blocking is because of a lot of the gray market stuff People are trying to like sell steam keys and make profits and whatnot. And a lot of that stuff is coming out of Eastern Europe. So it makes sense to apply restrictions there. And I mean, like, let's let's be real. One hundred and sixty million like uh, dollars or one or one point six million pounds is chump change to. Yeah. uh, like to to valve expect the steam eu finds reimbursement sale in like a week and they'll make it back in an hour. They're going to do that and just push it on sale again because they're like, fuck you. I mean, exactly, right? Like, oh no, 1.6 million pounds or euros or whatever. Okay, that's like a weekend. Okay, we're, we're, we're good. So, Pedro, you have more experience. I mean, have, were, did you ever run into that in Portugal with like regional pricing? Uh, not really, mostly because the uh, income in Portugal was shit. So, we already got the cheap prices anyway. <laughs> so yeah no that that wasn't an issue at all (laughs) well uh, at least you didn't have to like use uh cracked versions of the games (laughs) <laughs> yeah so this is uh this is from tech radar uh so apparently uh denuvo and steam have been working together to integrate some kind of anti-cheat done through steam workshop what this actually means we don't really know because like the steam workshop stuff is a library you can import in your game project blah 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 there's open source alternatives ostensibly this gives uh steamworks or provides hooks within steamworks to interface with an anti-sheet software like denuvo and i mean it makes it it opens up the door for a lot of more proton friendly anti-cheat implementations because you know hey we're this is the 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 main shim is being handled by valve they can kind of be like oh well we know that wine behaves like this so we can maybe not do such and such and such um the big thing that kind of concerns me though um 
and where, where it gets a little spooky is um they're they're looking at like hypervisor and like ring zero uh anti-cheat and given how containerized apps are getting especially now and in the future having anti-cheat snooping around my system like that i kind of don't want it to have that sort of elevated permission it does not make me feel better i would rather deal with the cheating that's, that's simply because you're a linux pirate Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Yar! <laughs> Avast! But yeah, I can. Uh, this is, yeah, th- the whole Ring Zero thing is shit. And I hope that the people working in Wine and Valve and whoever it may be figures out a way to say, okay, uh, stuff in Wine isn't running at the same level as the rest of the Linux operating system or Mac, as the case may be. So uh, we don't need to be Ring Zero on the host OS. We just need to be Ring Zero from the compatibility layer up. So maybe there's going to be a bit of a shim uh, for the Windows kernel in Wine that could be one way but i'm sure i'm completely uh, but linux has off. never really had a problem with the <laughs> duo um yeah that's yeah just... and especially when we have beautiful um, developers like bethesda who are kind enough to just ship the um unencumbered binary on- <laughs> yes yeah it, it did show up in doom eternal for a hot second uh i think it's like a week and at the time the lead dev behind the nouveau it cheat was like okay so uh we do hear the linux people saying that they can play the game now and we'll account for that in the future is this what they meant so here uh, here and here's the thing ben is right <laughs> denuvo isn't really the main anti-cheat adversary we have under linux it's yeah. easy anti-cheat yeah. easy anti-cheat <laughs> is the big whale and it is it is owned by you know valve's chief rival in the game marketplace service so you know there's there's not really much incentive for for old tim to throw gabe a bone here and there uh so <laughs> that, I, this is where the friction will continue to exist and until we get like wine to skull dispatchers and whatnot we're still going to be dealing with games we just can't play because of it, it's going to be um something i have to wait out uh but hey may, maybe this is good gonna help them out and, you know. yes um futex futex 2 electric boogaloo um proton has this in its change log uh if you have uh the futex 2 patches in your kernel you might be able to take advantage of it maybe maybe by, not if it's, you have them you've manually patched that shit in there yeah it looks like futex 2 <laughs> didn't really make it into 510 i hope it makes it into 511 because like there is a legitimate use case for it and like yeah that's the thing is that legitimate use case is Linux gaming. Uh, there are a lot of Windows games that use uh, the Windows style through Texas to handle weights. Um, and there's this is actually a cause of a lot of friction in line. Uh, there are memory issues. There are timing issues, especially like this is what eSync is trying to help fix. Uh, but having the kernel level support there to just do the weight is a lot more useful. And I'm, I'm interested to see like what sort of underlying issues this fixes if at all like maybe this is a magic bullet that unlocks a couple like five extra frames a second in your game or maybe it just doesn't do anything well i saw that you know this was this is a thing there's an update if you're on proton experimental branch i'm like you know what fuck it why not i talk all the shit like everyone should build their own kernel and say you better go fucking try it fine when got the patch patch 510 piled it he made some dabs and like put it over and was like i'll keep you for later this afternoon was later and uh launched it proton experimental Launch trying forward and just kind of hung up. I'm like, yep, mm, get the fucking meter. There we go. All right, we're done with that. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's early days. It probably needs quite a bit more testing on like a wider variety of systems, but it's cool to see that it's in there right now. Like, uh, yeah. thing, you, you, you can start at least now, like, developers can start having that in mind and start like actually developing and fixing bugs against it, which is the big thing. Yeah, we, I'm going to let it um, bake a little bit more because I, you know, naturally I want to do like on off benchmarking. Mm hmm. Just see, but it's early days. Go experiment with it if you're familiar with patching kernels, and uh, I'm sure some version of Arch will have it uh, in the AUR. Yeah, uh, for the kids. I think yeah. the TKG kernel has that option. That's uh, you can ha- just download the what we're uh, saying is enabled one. <laughs> we we recommend randomly downloading kernels off the internet from untrusted sources until you find Cur- one that works. Yeah, fr- from uh, kernel dot open Roo, source. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 kernel.ru.exe. That's right. Uh, 
we, we got we got more wine news because this is the proton segment glory segral 6.0 you know there there's wine 6.0 we talked about that last week and you know glory segral has gone on to start applying his patches to uh the latest wine release and yeah there's there's some breakage uh catherine uh call of duty black ops 2 dark siders and injustice 2 are just straight borked um supposedly they fixed controller hot plugging where let's see if they succeeded where valve has failed many 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 times let's see that if they disable it in ge2 they actually have uh, mango hud support as well uh mango hud should now be working with the latest proton um yeah this is not it's not really a crazy exciting release um it's really just hey the new version of wine came out let's just rebase Pro- uh, proton ge on it so that we can start working and there's going to be there's going to be some friction at least in the early days because it's a yeah. brand new software release but you know what Maybe, maybe this is the version that will make that one game you can't get working. Do you think we're ever going to get like the um, holy version eventually, or we're forever going to be like matching the, the, well, and wine ver- like, like we've always done with wine, right? This right. is nothing new. It, and it, it isn't. And I think like that that's kind of the problem with like the, the wine as Linux gaming solution is, yeah, there's there's always going to be that one version of wine that works perfectly with your game. And mm-hmm. then they release a new version and then it just breaks everything. Right. So there's there's going to be a degree of this. You can try to account for it as best you can. But this is why th- this is why developing wine on the back foot is like a disadvantageous position when you're trying to implement software, especially other people's software, because like, oh, well, now so, there's been a change upstream. It's broken my thing. How do I fix that and maintain the other things that are working? It's really complicated. I got to give big kudos to the wine developers. Oh, wow, they do absolutely. not get paid enough. No. <laughs> and uh, that was one of the advantages of the uh, the whole whitelist was that Valve was setting, OK, this game runs as well as you can expect with this version of Proton. And if you go back to the original um, whitelist and you download one of those games, yeah, it'll default to Proton. What was it? 3.8? Yeah, still using the old version. So going back to uh, Proton GE, uh, it looks nice, but I went to look at the known issues and the full screen hack is still disabled. I really don't want games fighting my XOR cough. I already had to do plenty of that on I, my own. So <laughs> that, that's the way I look at it. There's the one reason I've just don't I've given up tangoing with Proton GE because a just vanilla Proton and Proton Next has gotten good enough to where I there's but yes, it's the danger of like like oh no, it's like all back? the monitors just blink and I'm like oh crap, they just changed one of the refresh rates on one of these monitors and I uh, <laughs> I don't I don't I don't really have that problem with GE. I will say though that GE is basically I, I keep uh like the five nine I keep tr- I try to keep the latest version of GE on the system because like this doesn't work with regular Proton. Will it work with GE? Always get, yeah, are it, it, it's there for testing and you know GE brings good games to life. That's, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, hundred percent. Now you might be tempted to wear a power tie oh. to your next meeting. Myself, I prefer power hats. And um, <laughs> on the topic of power hats, Toe Jam and Earl is still in the groove. This is an update, man, because it says, "Hey, look, man, there's an update. Read it off the page." And I did. What do we have, man? It's bigger fixed world maps, new funky preset synergies, and hidden power hats. To which I'll say, man, check this out. I remember playing. Chapman Earl on the Mega Drive <laughs> and going, what? Huh? <laughs> okay. I mean, I was a child, but I had no idea what was going on. I got to say, man, they nailed, they really stuck to the roots with this one because um, still no idea what's going on. Uh, Native Linux version runs fantastic. New update works smooth, but I'm still right back at square one. Of guy. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. I mean, I what what I do know is that you can get 100 XP for every hat you find, and that Gandhi <laughs> is not providing his safety if there's another Gandhi nearby. Okay. Was, also, also 40% less des, 40% less dense bush. It's got a month uh, cope, so maybe we need to go yeah, cope yeah. each other. Maybe <laughs> the, the there there is a Linux fix though. Uh, the movies will work on Linux now. They weren't working before, so okay. Hey, oh. all right. Hey, oh, hey, oh. So yeah, you can go clean out your toes and rub that on some toast and eat it. I think it got a lot of um, you know, nostalgia buys, and it was in a bundle a while back. But yeah, uh, it's uh, just a shit ton of work went into this game. Like this oh, wasn't yeah. a you know, hey, let's do a remaster of the grass. It's a whole new thing, man. 
Mm-hmm. And like the, the the backgrounds are full 3D. I'm looking through the trailers and the screenshots, and yeah, no, that's those are sprites on a full 3D bra- background. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> did, did you ever think think to yourself, man, that like Minecraft really needed I don't know drills? Yeah, okay. all the time. Same here. Well, there it is, Pedro. Pedro. Combat uh, you Sure about that, Jordan? Is it mine? Oh, it the is. One? The red one. You're right. It is mine. <laughs> I can't look at colors, apparently. Yes. Um. So, Vulcanoids. They have an update. Vul- Vulcanoids. I keep wanting to say Vulcanoids, but that's a completely different thing. Vulcanoids. Um, they eat your pizza vul- and tell you to prosper. <laughs> logical pizza. Very logical that pizza. That looks nasty. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, they've completely reworked the shooting in this game. Um, you have iron sights, uh, recoil, um, and superior pew pew noises. They've reworked the gun noises. Um, also, apparently the bots were kind of cheating. They had the superior computer brains that can just headshot you. They're not doing that anymore. Aww. So you you stand a chance. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I've always been a fan of like the way this game has looked. Um art style art direction you know kind of tapping into the steampunk stuff but this has really got my attention i i, yes. I, I, I want to go tango with this and it's 14.99 currently pedro you got some extra thoughts on it though i do because this is very much in that same genre like your rusts uh but rust never really did scratch that itch for me even if i you know accepted um uh, gary newman's uh unique personality but (laughs) the uh yeah i did reach out to their pr peeps because this looks very very nice uh they haven't replied to me yet so pedro it's like steam hammer 9000 yeah yeah. (laughs) it looks yeah it looks uh very much the part and assuming that from when you start the game to when you get to yeah just having the uh steam powered minigun uh, it doesn't take, you know, crafting the same thing about a hundred times so you can level up enough to get to that point. Yeah, no, I, I, what? I very much hope it was doesn't. That, I hope that's not the case. <laughs> was that a gun accordion? Did I just see that? I, I think it was <laughs> a steam defibrillator, but regardless, it mm-hmm. looked, looked a bit naughty, didn't it? No, yeah, yeah, you need to rub it on this side to charge it. <laughs> I kind of want a gun accordion, though. That sounds amazing. <laughs> But yes, uh, on the realm of crafting, but not exactly the uh, the same M- genre. The mining, yeah, yeah sort of. Uh, the we have Robocraft, which is a free to play uh, MOBA style game that's been around on Linux for a very long time, and it's one of the very few native Linux How many games hours that do you actually. Have Pedro Mateus, a uh, hundred and fifty one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, it's one of the very few native games that actually uses Easy Anti Cheat natively on Linux because mm. the native version of Easy Anti Cheat works. It's just the one uh, from Windows run in Wine that doesn't. But yeah, Robocraft. It's uh, yeah, God it's a damn, mobile. They don't you- even fuck around. They're like, yeah, this is a spreadsheet simulator. Get Ben, deal with it. Here's it the spreadsheet. Is. <laughs> spreadsheet. The update. Holy <laughs> shit! I'm I'm sure all of this makes sense if you're playing Dude, a lot of Robocraft. But listen, like, I, I got respect for this because they, they let you know right here you can read this and tell whether or not you want to get into this right yeah and i did and after you know 151 hours of playing that game i I kind of stopped playing because shit was completely unbalanced back in 2018 at least that's when steam says uh i last played it uh and if they change that because i'm a big fan of like the car robot and uh yeah, the cars were basically stupidly underpowered, and literally anything else, especially the flyers, were massively overpowered. So now that looks like the cars are once again a valid uh, build, and that that's kind of scratching that itch for me, and I kind of want to get back into it. But yeah, it, it's a MOBA where you get to build your own uh, competitor. So that, yeah, no, that... Uh, that tickles me. I'm pretty sure that was a giant <laughs> death bunny. I'm pretty sure this is just the chrome, da- the, the, the chrome dinosaur yeah, that, from that, the, that's the, a the giant game. Death bunny. <laughs> giant death bunny. 
<laughs> and it jumps yeah. those legs the insect legs they actually do the jumps and they stick to walls and you can climb like very steep stuff and then just from the side of a mountain just snipe people from across the map it's a it's free to play really game fun. with 69 dollars <laughs> worth of nice dlc it it's uh Cosmetics. mostly visual stuff yeah yeah i i, I there's just, a couple I just want... of like uh xp uh yeah. multipliers you could buy yeah. <laughs> I, I i just want to point out that they have the spreadsheets but then they also have all that information in bullet form on the bottom of the post too which makes mm-hmm. this article super fucking long. You have to, I'm like, are they including anything else? Scroll, 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 scroll. I'm glad I have the unlockable scroll wheel. Otherwise, dude, yeah, uh, yeah you made it further than I did. They beat, the, yeah. The, yeah, the the spreadsheets defeated me. I'm like, okay, fine. You you get most of the stuff from like the very first screenshot. It's like the green arrows are the buffs, the red arrows are the nerfs. There. All right. <laughs> All right. This next game uh, is finally 1.0. In I remember, I think we talked about it way back when, but damn, it got pretty. Mm-hmm. It did. It actually looks really, really nice. The combat, uh, the at least what they show in the trailer, looks very similar to Dead Cells. And that's not a bad thing because the combat in Dead Cells was the best thing about it. And this one, well, uh, Skull, the Hero Slayer 1.0 is out now. Uh, you get upgraded skulls. You um, get to free your own captured demon brethren and yeah you basically play as one of the enemies in your typical uh, rpg slash action game and you have to give it to the humans because uh well they've had their story going on long enough it's about time you took it back and i like it I, at least the look of it i like it a lot <laughs> i think it's pretty neat looking man Oh yeah, the um, it's it's also it's another one of these games that's using like the head body part swapping mechanic. That one's having a bit of a yep. renaissance lately. <laughs> We've talked about a couple games that are using it, um, and yeah, it's bi- very. If this trailer is any indication, right, it's very pretty two D spectacled brawler. Hundred mm-hmm. percent, and they didn't skimp on this man because you know uh, plenty of polish and you know new chapters, NPCs, improved bosses, and uh, yeah, just a nice little bow on the story itself. So. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it when skulls come together. But bonk. No, it, it's serious, <laughs> man. Uh, we're going to be talking spoilers later on about really how not to do a one point release. Mm-hmm. Nah, but it, it makes it makes me all the happies when I see. It's like, man, yeah, they really tied it together. Okay, good on you, lot. Good on you. Is it time to slice back? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's time. <laughs> I want sushi. You want to be a shogun samurai, man? Maybe not. <laughs> Atomic Kraken. Up, samurai. No, this is this is coming soon, man. Alien sushi question mark. That should get your attention because if it doesn't, maybe you just don't like alien sushi, man. That's kind of weird. I like uh, my aliens cooked, not raw. <laughs> you get to follow a girl and her talking hamster in this hilarious side scroller action game. Aerial combat, feed off aliens, get new powers, and eventually save the earth. Grab your soy sauce and get ready for a taste of slice back. I had, I'd like me a little action platformer game, man. And uh, Spectacle Fighters, I'm down for. I don't know if like that screen pulsing is part of the mechanic of the game, because if it is, I don't like that. Yeah, no, I see. I've praised games in the past for doing like the freeze frame when you hit something to uh-huh. convey that extra bit of impact. That's too much. That's just way too fucking much. That, what the hell? <laughs> that, that looks like something's wrong. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I've, I've, it looks like something. It looks like it slowed down just to show you what the hell is actually happening. I guess I don't. I don't know. Um, but like, it's 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 coming spoon. We'll, we'll, we're not going to be. There's no demo or anything. We can't no. actually tell for ourselves. It just showed up on the um, and they don't have Linux listed, but it's all it's listed as Linux when you sort by new. So we'll see. Mm, all right, That's we, we shall. Mention. Indeed, pulsy screens. What do we got and I guess the jump, last jump around. Last is, jump around. Uh, yeah. Jump, jump up, up, jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up. <laughs> Get down. But it, yes, it is uh, a fast paced action puzzler as they describe it. And yeah, you basically have to. Uh, keep climbing and hit the blocks to get points. Does, does this get, does this not look like an educational game? It does. Oh, it does. See, <laughs> I, I'm violently against anything that's trying to educate me on anything. <laughs> but yeah, you jump on blocks and you get points uh, based like on the number Beacon's in going those to blocks. Show up at the top and start pissing on you. 
Yeah. It's it's and it's like it's like infinite climber towerfall. That's the vibes I get. Okay. For sure. Yeah, but uh, the important thing here is the, what it says down the side, where it says online PvP, which, yes. uh, you know, all things considered, this game would be absolutely infuriating to play against the two of you. Well, Pedro, and, uh, Pedro, yeah. I, I also see remote play together, too. <laughs> Yes, that's there too, but uh, the online PvP is above that, so. <laughs> oh, and, and by your fucking wild guess, you assume that means that it has... Uh, I, if they're lying, Valve kind of, you know, <laughs> puts the kibosh when you use their store to lie. I don't think they're lying. <laughs> it's like, no, it has but you got to use Steam Remote Play. I just like, it's the hierarchy. This, this is Pedro's like, I just assume this is how this works. Therefore, I don't, I don't, that's how I, I, it works. They're, they're, tr they're trying really hard to push Remote Play, right? Like, e even games with, like, you boot up left right up, they're like, you want to play this with Remote Play? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Do do yeah, everything, everything gives Gives you the uh, remote play together prompt. Let's uh, <laughs> let, let's do a stream with us, <laughs> <laughs> and and just for funsies, because I can control all the bandwidth in the cells. Uh, we, we'll, I'll just dial it down to like some something uh, horrific where it's just a kaleidoscope of pixels, or so, yeah, or, or or like Portal Two trying to trying to coordinate with all like the the timing puzzles with the multiplayer. Oh no, it's, it's bad. We can do that, man. and we can only play off the um. Well, Steam controller, yeah. Steam controller, and we got to watch the live stream set on normal delay. That's the only yes. way to move. <laughs> we can't okay, watch the right. monitors. <laughs> that's, that's the Patreon goal. Yeah, we, we can make oh. that happen. All right. How well, much is this? Eight ninety nine. All right. Yeah, yep. Rel Maybe. Relatively cheap. Jumpola. 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 Uh, another game that I've sent an uh, email to and haven't heard back from them. Jump, so. jump. <laughs> Indeed. So coming back, coming up coming next, back. the twenty. Coming back, the 2060's back with a vengeance, and so is Sonic CD. That that was a chonky uh, seam segment, but don't worry. Uh, we're going to take a break now, so if you need to get up and pee, now's the time to do it, because we're going to show for ourselves. Skip button. Skip, skip. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I was going to make like, a couple of times. Do you ever I was going to make that, a golden man, shower like you, um, joke. <laughs> Skip, I, I do it on YouTube, and how many times have you, like, went to go tap the 10-second skip, and you're like, damn it, because it went to the next video. Uh, what, what do you call it? I, I, I just use the arrow keys. That's my... Like, I'm talking about mobile. Yeah, it's five seconds. Um, it skips five seconds with the arrow key. It's like, there. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mo mo mobile, yeah, good good luck. I'm, I'm, I'll sit through whatever that is. Um, he, like, my main trick doesn't even work, man, uh, for any YouTube video. I, I usually start it, like, two minutes in. So, <laughs> if you try that on our videos, get fucked. We're still just talking about random bullshit two minutes in. in <laughs> indeed. And if you if you like random bullshit, you should consider uh, subscribing to our Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Where is that random shit, you might ask, in the pre-pre-super shows in which you can oh, yeah. get access to if you become a Patreon. Uh, if you're an executive producer, you get the live video feed. Either way, you get the RSS feed. It's real nice. Um, and you get to listen to us talk about inane nonsense what are we talking about this week dude it's a straight up custom show each and every week for you delivered in podcast format along with extra bonus stuff uh usually this is one of the rare rare weeks that we're not doing tv show movie reviews and all that other there's, fun stuff. there's nothing on <laughs> there's there's one division and that's it it's pretty right? much like, man it, it's relatively spoiler free but if you want that take from us and uh we invite you to join us if you're uh one of our gorgeous uh, executive producers we even give you a video feed of that but uh being a patron will get you early access to everything that we do uh, stay tuned this week keep your eyes out for the counterfeit usb3 uh <laughs> hd mind coder I, I like to put that up as an early crack let's take a look at it and be like mm, okay maybe it's ready to go Vin, and then i'll push it out to everyone else but uh you also get uh our, all of our little let's plays that we do during the week those show up in our discord did we mention discord Pedro? have you ever been to, do you want to be part of of a discord that will legitimately spend an entire fucking hour arguing about the merits of ECC memory. Yes, <laughs> because that's we all, did that. That's that's all <laughs> I ever wanted. Yeah, no, just discord's a great place. It's one of the few discords that's like active. There are people talking here most, most that, of the time. Okay, that that like you go to a discord that's just like Wild West open and all that and like nobody's talking. 
Yeah, or you have people uh, attempting to out edgy each other, mm. which is also not very good. But seriously, our Discord is kind of amazing in that respect. Our, our Discord is every people- Discord servers that I'm in. It's the best. <laughs> Hands it, down. Pedro, it's, it's, less, it's less people I trying am. to out edge each other and more people trying to out cringe each other, which is even better. Yes. Um, we, got, we, got, we got some Patreons we got to thank, though. Yes, uh, we we got to thank so. uh, Daniel and Benjamin, two new Patreons. Two new Patreons. Um, uh, there's give, me a, there's fact, this, give me a fact about Daniel, Jordan. A fact about Daniel Little is that fact. one time he, when, when he was born, he emerged from the chest of a lion like a, like a xenomorph. All right. All right. Now, we do have Benjamin, so Pedro, we will need an equally impressive fact. Absolutely true fact about Benjamin. Oh, uh, absolutely true fact. Yes. Uh, then uh, Benjamin once um, high-fived the actor playing um, Homelander the, oh. in The Boys. All right. Anthony Starr? <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Um, also, also uh, before before we forget, uh, if you leave a Patreon or if you leave a comment on the Patreon post, you could win a copy of Mad Max. Ben yep. picked up one. Uh, uh, get an so. extra copy. If you don't have Mad Max, you know, and you can still download it, even though Farrell's like, hey, we don't officially support it anymore. It's still going to be in the repos. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I picked up a bundle. And I'm like, yeah, I, somebody can have it. So yeah, just leave a comment. You don't have to be a patron. Uh, you just leave a comment on the post. That'll be up tomorrow. Usually right around between three and four o'clock i'm a little better than the cable person coming to fix your junk but yeah and i'll just pick somebody at random and give to that's how that works uh, yeah uh we also have a store store.linuxgamecast.com go buy some linux gamecast merch you can get a coffee cup you can get a fanny pack you can't get a fanny pack but you can get some stickers <laughs> and you can get some t-shirts and maybe, maybe a hoodie if you're feeling nasty uh we got amazon wish zones if you want to buy us some stuff you can send us little love notes that we'll have to read on the internet that's gonna be fun oh yes. uh, if you if you send stuff to ven you get your name on the blinky seizure wall yeah i'm of looking reflection. i don't have anything i fun. thought that was a vhs tape for a second and then Which i realized one? it was a th- the thread the thread ripper box like that, dude that that would be like the only known existing copy of like star wars holiday special that right was like, right yeah. like right. yeah my, my brain did not process the image in full is like wait is that a vhs what the fuck is no i that's, keep that's, waiting that's, for the um yeah you will end up back here for all of our videos we got uh, a little bit of room for, like that that's the prime real estate right there so if you want to hook up on that, but it's where people can actually read your name. Right. I can read everyone's name. I read it all the time. Like, look at him. I'm reading. I, it's, I, it's, I, it's, 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 you're just like Joseph Smith. Then only you can read them. I, be quiet. Talking golden tablet. <laughs> Let me get my hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I, uh, are, are, are we done shelling do we got, do uh, got news yeah I think that uh, is pretty much it stick around uh, we put your name in the credits and give you all the thanks because yeah. you make the show possible indeed thanks a lot Patreons thanks a lot yes. people supporting us giving us money uh, on Twitch PayPal subs. Tw- yeah Twitch subs, Twitch subs. Yep. we confirmed last week that that system does in fact work if you're a Twitch sub you get access to the discord you just get a link you yes. think yeah Ooh, we know it yeah. works now ha Haha. Ha. Confirmed. Right. <laughs> so also also confirmed that, the twenty sixty. Uh, sixty. Yeah. Yes. What are what are the God things that uh <laughs> get it in there, go ahead. Usually <laughs> say, <laughs> when, when we're talking about something that comes out of video cards dot com is to, you know, take your grain of chainsaw uh as you go into the article, but this one has been confirmed by overclocking.com. Which, you know, I'm not entirely sure of the validity of that other website. Listen, but man, they, it's got uh, green dots. I know it's legit. Look, <laughs> yeah, they, green means in video, right? Right. They seem to uh, say that the, uh, and, well, fine folks at NVIDIA with the shortage of uh, just about everything GPU wise that they've that they are still making, uh, they seem to have hit a bit of a wall. And now... Well, uh, the 2060 and 2060 Super uh, seem to be coming back Mm -hmm. with a... um, The 2060 has the exact same MSRP, apparently, which is in and around $300, while the... uh, 2060 Super seems to have an MSRP of $400. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So I I got the 2060 Super at $400, but I got the uh, 3060 regular with 12 gigs for about true video? Uh, supposedly, yes. That that sounds Which like some so shit Nvidia would do. Let's be honest. <laughs> yes. Like no, 
the one thing in this article uh, that kind of caught me uh, is like the very last line. Hopefully, this isn't an indicator of limited GA106 uh, GPU stock at launch. Of course it is. Of course it is. This this <laughs> is like, hey, we can spool this up. We know how to make these and it's better to be selling something versus nothing because this is 100% just back for another lap, man. Uh, it, here's the problem, though, because I, I am 100% in the market for a new GPU. Uh, I do have the original 2060 no cape non super edition with six gigs, and that's what I'm doing all the video editing on. It's getting long in the tooth for some of the stuff. I, I get adventurous sometimes. You'll catch me on Twitter. I'm like, ah, oh, well, I got a little down. I, I just burn that shit the entire way down. All right. I want the 30, I, I'm not buying shit like most people. Here's the problem, NVIDIA, and this, this doesn't do anything at all because somebody walked up to me right now and they're like, hey, you know what? I'll give you a 2060 Super with eight gigs, not a 3060, just 26 for 100, 150 bucks, man. Right here, brand new. I'd go, eh, I have to think about that. I, I don't know. Because even at, which they're not ever going to be that price, but no. maybe, maybe, just maybe. Um, if they were like 200 bucks, like you get a 20, and I'm talking super too, 2060, super like 200 bucks. That's like the new budget, low entry. This would make sense. That's not what they're going to fucking do. But then again, there are people who want physical cards like this side of Rapture. So mm -hmm. they're willing, as we learned, I think X Salty is like, Hey man, yeah, I bought an entire computer to get a 3070. Uh, yeah, and it's uh, granted the 2060 was the most popular of the 2000 series. It was. And just because the 1660 and that particular family of GPUs, when you look at the performance gains between the 1060 and the 1660, most people went, eh. So yeah, the 2060 was the logical. Next it it had that half a tensor core, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Tension wiggle. Listen, man, we all know. Just, geez, quit rubbing it in. You got the 1080 Ti. We get it. Fuck. Calm down. <laughs> Everyone's still trying to catch up to you, Jordan. Damn it. I, 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 I know. But I, I mean, I mean, you're right, though. The and to to speak to that point, there, we were joking about it in like the in between segment. Like the best GPU you can buy now is like a Ryzen APU because <laughs> it's it's a thing that you can go to a store and like walk out with. You can physically own it. And I, yep. out of curiosity. We Talking in Discord, and I'm like, well, what can I get locally? I think um, Doc was looking for a 1030 replacement or a return. It was Kyle Linux. Guy, all right. <laughs> and uh, we were like, eh, just go back and forth. I, I wasn't really participating, but I'm, I got curious. I got curious. <laughs> Best Buy, what do you have in stock? And it was like a uh, a quadro from like 2006. Yeah, like, you, you know, technically video. I'm like, what is that antique even doing there? <laughs> I, f I feel bad for the people with like the RX 250s and shit who are like, okay, I was a good boy. I used this card until it fucking died. Right. And now I need a new video card. Uh oh. Well, I don't know. Um, if you want a brand new shiny 2060, that's probably going to happen because out of, there's two companies that would do some dipshit like this. And see, if it's not Intel, it's going to be NVIDIA. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And yeah, they can't sell anything else. So, oh, we still have some of those old GPUs lying around. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so then, mm -hmm. gotta go fast. I tried last night. If you want to see an old man fumbling around with a Sonic CD, go to uh, Jai just posted that up uh, in Discord in the announcement segment. Full decompilation of Sonic CD 2011, which I said, this looks kind of neat. Maybe I want to fuck around with it. 99% C. Special sauces and that one percent other man. So this is based off the PC remake with the improvements, tweaks from the mobile remakes, and all the other fun stuff. I almost bought another copy on Steam. Fortunately, if you get that Sonic bundle from last year, you have all the Sonic stuff. Go check your humble before you do that. Yoink the data bits out of it. Uh you need lib SDL2, Libog, Theora, Vorbis. That should get you sorted, at least on Debian. There's a Really no CMake list or anything. You just type make, cross your fingers, and work your way backwards from it. I tried it out. I streamed it last night. Didn't have any issues whatsoever. And since it's got that uh, SDL2 hotness, wireless controller. Oop, cut it on. Hey, look, everything works. Um, 
there's a config file now, so you can kind of configure your screen resolutions. You got to maths a little bit, but it does work, and uh, I'm happy with it. I never played the original. So I did. I played the Sonic CD on my Sega CD for like 30 minutes because I knew the other kid with the Sega CD, <laughs> and I he was right. over. Yeah, and I played it because I was kind of Sonicked out by that time. I'm like, oh, it's got an eat, but. I don't know if it's faithful or not, but I, I had fun with it. Decent music. And I still like right now, I didn't have time last night. It has some future past mechanic. They have fuck all idea how that works. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing. It's interesting to play Sonic CD from 2011 natively on Linux. Cause that's what it is. And I, I love the fact that this is, it was an 18 year old over like two weekends. It's like, yeah, here you go. An eighteen-year-old must be a really big Sonic fan if he's going through this. Well, <laughs> you, actively putting himself through that to yeah. <laughs> you you have the types that like the super wicked smart ones that like this. This was a mild challenge on a weekend project, you know. Yes, and there's yes. a big file there, so yeah. Kudos. <laughs> so so odds are this kid if he if he makes it out of the pandemic, he's probably be going to be getting like a. Very, very quick six figure salary offer. That you. Or straight up serial killer. I mean, that's it only goes one way. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fair, yeah. fair enough. It's hard to maintain that balanced <laughs> serial killer work lifestyle. I, no, one. no. I, I mean, like, may, maybe reverse engineering the Sonic CD2 implementation is, is the key indicator that he is, in fact, like murdering small animals. Mm, quite possible. <laughs> Where is, has he buried the bodies? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, in the, the green entire... hill zone pedro <laughs> why do you think it's so green it's all the fertilizer from the dead people <laughs> so uh, oh. sometimes uh you, you might be like hey man lutris lutris is too mainstream man too i need a it. hero i'm holding up yeah it's the hero games launcher we were talking about this last <laughs> week uh they have a new release out uh crocodile um this this time, this time, this time, you can actually point it at your Windows partition if you're one of those dual booters so that you can pull in your Epic Games from your Windows partition and play them with the lines. So, I mean, that's a nice thing, I guess. Uh, there's also, they've also improved a lot of the terminal output. If you've run Lutris or if you run anything through, through Wine or even through Proton, when things don't work, there's not a lot of logging. You got to run that shit through a terminal and you got to hope that your application is outputting all the stuff you need to the terminal so that you can actually solve the problem. They've done this now. Um, and they've also added feral game mode support, so it'll uh, switch your CPU governors to like high performance, et cetera, et cetera, do all that crap so that you don't have to worry about it. It's nice. Um, so yeah, work on this continues. Strider's probably going to plagiarize a bunch of it, so look forward to it in the next I, week's release. That's, <laughs> that's what surprised me the most, is that it wasn't immediately Lutrist into Lutris. Uh, but no, uh, the big one is that uh, if you have Steam installed via Flatpak, it now can actually find Proton from the uh, Flatpak version. Uh, Save syncs, very, very nice to have. I can think of another Proton implementation in another, you know, gaming client that um, could absolutely check the Proton prefix from when the game is installed to after the game is run to see what kind of files change to find where the save games are and easily back those up oh, and then no, restore no, them. Pedro, that sounds like user error. Shut up. Yeah. Close. <laughs> I'm just saying, Valve at this point could have... Steam cloud saves for literally every single game that Proton can run uh, without a whole lot of work put into hey, it. Hey, hey, Pedro, Pedro. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Explain uh, to Valve again how that makes the money. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be talking about this in, in the chairquisition, but goddamn, cloud save should just be standard. You should, it yes. should just be on by default. Agre agreed, 100%. It's, it's easy enough to implement too, if you know, like, the folders. But it's not implemented enough to where you don't trust that shit at first. You're like, does this have a cloud save? Nay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I, I, I guess what the, the next one is open HV, unless you yes. got anything else Get to say, Pedro? Hit. Yeah, uh, not really. <laughs> all, right. all right, no, no one cares. HV. So, uh, 1993, uh, Westwood Studios was uh, working on a game called Hard Vacuum, and it got shit canned. Uh, but once upon a time, the uh, graphics assets actually got released. So, uh, OpenHV is an attempt to 
they don't what we, we don't it's not a remake of the game because it never got finished right we don't know what the game would have actually looked like but you know it's westwood style rts we have a good implementation of the westwood uh, engine in open ra so they're using open ra to implement hard vacuum so you know a shout out to open ra because they're doing the lord's work and also e even even ea even ea in their corporate assledom cracked a little bit of a smile and gave them some support so yeah uh it's available on itch um you can pick it up right now uh is it free i believe no yeah, it's free you can uh just download it tap that download button fan uh make sure you got like the double uh two gig download speeds because it is a full 18 megabytes oof yeah 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 i first looked at it uh before i read anything visually i'm like man that looks a lot like dune oh yeah okay never mind yeah i guess it does look like Yes, the yeah. third sentence is like, inspired by Dune 2. Okay, like, oh. got it. You're, you're aware. <laughs> Never mind. I'll shut up now and keep walking. Um, no. uh, one thing that I'd forgotten was that Itch actually had a client app thing that you could run and keep your the, your Itch games up to date. Completely forgotten about it. <laughs> it's a better love story than Discord, right? Remember womp, when Discord womp. sold games? I mean that no. failed even on Windows, so <laughs> you, you couldn't you couldn't buy them on on Linux, so I I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, that'll do it for us. Coming up next, we first covered this game like literally nine years ago. It's crazy. It's finally out. We're throwing chairs at it. Scraps modular vehicle combat. Welcome back. We're doing it. We're doing the chair acquisition. We're taking a look at Scraps Modular Vehicle Combat, developed by Moment Studio, done on the Unity Engine. You can pick it up for about 15 bucks. What is it? Scraps is a vehicle combat game where you build your vehicle from functional parts, as opposed to the non-functional parts, <laughs> with design as your ally and physics as your accomplice. Compete against human or AI opponents in the combat arena, or build up your vehicle while fighting through the gauntlet mode. Uh, they sent us some keys for this, because uh, we've been covering them five ever. Um... <laughs> I guess, yeah, Pedro, you like this game, so you get to go first again. Uh, I do. Uh, and Wait, well, hang uh, on. Over... That was preloaded. No, Oops. no, no. <laughs> I, I, I was fucking wrong, Frank. You want to tell us what you think about scraps? <laughs> Apparently, Frank is very, very opinionated. <laughs> but yeah, over here on uh, KD Neon with the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080, Five years old, that video uh, card. But yeah, uh, if you're not streaming it while uh, using NVENC, it actually holds 144 FPS at 2560 by 1440. With uh, the streaming happening, it hangs in between like 80 and 90. So it's not terrible by any means. Uh, it looks and sounds exactly like I remember it from the demo, but more on that later. The mouse, uh, I, I wrote down mouse and gerbil, but okay. The mouse and gerbil, as well as the That's keyboard your problem, uh, work. Fucko. You were trying to play it with like the wrong inputs. <laughs> no, no, you, you, you had trying to play you it with the two dual, mice. No, you have the dual cursor set up in X because you can do that. You Stay can. Tuned. Next yes. week, this Pedro Mateus, how many mice can you plug into one Linux? <laughs> Too many, too many. But yeah, uh, I didn't try the controller on accounts of, you know, all the aiming that you have to do while shooting stuff. So yeah, as for the fun, I really do like the uh, building of the uh, death car when it works properly. The positioning is finicky. And if you're even a single pixel off, it will put the component in some completely random ass part of the vehicle. Uh, there isn't so much of a difficulty curve if you're playing in forever alone mode. It's basically all pretty easy right up until you get to the boss. It is literally the NPC at the end is called the boss. And uh, it, it, yeah, I've tried and failed six or seven times to kill that thing. And uh, on the one that I got the furthest in, the I had fuck it. Do you think you can just walk in and kill Tony Danza? <laughs> I or Bruce got Springsteen to for the that point matter. where basically uh, it was down to like 20 or 30 percent health and then somehow it managed to line all seven cannons that it had on me and one shot me so um i got up <laughs> pointed at the screen proclaimed bullshit and just loud enough a voice that the neighbors wouldn't be terribly inconvenienced because this is england after all uh but the thing that stuck out to me the most is as i alluded to earlier 
it looks the same. It looks the exact same as the demo that I played a lot of back in 2013. There's some, you know, burning earth type textures that deal damage if you try over them like lava fields type of situation. Uh, but yeah, did you, did you ever run into one of the uh, unmovable shrubs? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a or, few or of them the too. Rocks yes. Wham. Like, what the? Really? Oh, that's a move. All right, fine. Yeah, and uh, it's multiplayer. I was kind of looking forward to the multiplayer because oh, version one point is out, so let's try the multiplayer. And it was basically non-existent at launch. And um, the developer Bill did put uh, he put out a very grim post about the realization that things didn't go terribly well and that he basically uh he wasn't really doing like working on any other projects but he felt really guilty that he wasn't actually working on the game so yeah this is kind of what we ended up with uh i'll give it a bonus chair for having the dedicated server so if anyone in the future goes like oh let's see if we can try and make that work in multiplayer again that is an option that is very much there and you can yeah, you could just host your own server and away you go if Scraps is your type of game. It is mine, but Robocraft is such a better option. I'll give it three chairs because, yes, the option is there, but I'll be playing Robocraft. <laughs> All right, uh, you you want to go or should I go? I guess I that's on you, Jordan. I, I guess I guess it's me then. <laughs> on Fedora 33, 64 bit with the i7 6700K and the um, AMD the the 5700XT. Jesus Christ, brain, Jordan. <laughs> ah, um, that 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 done that one card from last generation that you can still buy today. Um, yeah, it uh, launches out of the box um, on Nvidia with uh, on the Nvidia 1080 Ti with the Ryzen 9. Uh, 3900 so so many numbers god damn it um yeah it, it launches out of the box as well but it really likes my off monitor for whatever reason does not like the primary one you gotta like switch it to windowed mode and drag it to the other window and then enable windowed mode and then it works come on that's like the first thing you do you're like oh that's old unity right, right <laughs> yeah um the keyboard and mouse work fine targeting gets a little weird because of all the bizarre firing arcs you have to manage um it didn't work with my switch pro controller so uh there you go and graphics are very basic like pedro said it looks like a game from 2013 because it is a game from 2013 built on 2013 unity fun wise gets yeah, just okay i mean like the whole point of the murder murder cube genre is to just build your machine and go ham and like the it's not really fun to build the machine. It's okay, but like Pedro said, the actual construction is very, very limited when you compare it to something like Besiege. Oh man, it feels like you're being crammed in like a like a two foot square two square foot box, right? Compared to the options here. And it's it's just not as good. Um the the driving is a little weird. The combat is basic especially in the single player. I don't know I, I jack shit about the multiplayer because no one's playing, but most single player is you try and sneak up on a dude and broadside him until he dies. Make sure you have enough health and then move on to the next one. Uh, rinse, repeat until you can go to the teleport pad. Um, and I don't, I don't know. It feels like it would be nice if they gave you a creative mode with all of the options unlocked and then or so that you don't have to go through the single player to unlock all the parts or at the very least have a developed single player mode that is interesting and like has incremental challenges like besiege where they like besiege will give you uh, like oh you need to go knock down these parapets or oh you need to just make it past this crazy firing line to the other side right like this game is very much just run around and shoot stuff and it doesn't create a lot of variety although there's the one level right like there are different hills and stuff but it all it all looks the same um and yeah, like like was mentioned before, um, maybe maybe multiplayer would have fixed it, but unless you have some friends that you bought this game for, if you pulled the Mr. Fox dog, there's not going to be much. You're going to be stuck with the with the single player. Also, it's just me. Or the menu is just really bad in this game. Just like I want to I want to get to the main menu, and they're making it quite difficult. It's not it's not a good time. I'm gonna give it two chairs. Like it's it's all right. Clear clearly work went into it, but not enough to be a polished product i would i would expect this maybe from i don't know maybe a ten dollar game but not a fifteen dollar game that was in development for eight seven years whatever two chairs yeah. 
two chairs from there. Well, over here on Debian, um, testing, I guess maybe half testing, half bullseye, whatever you want to call it. On bullseye? Tullseye, yes. Debian Bullsting. Tullseye. Um, 1920, little baby thread rubber, 32 gigs RAM, little 2060. Doing all it can, man. Um, it launches, as Jordan pointed out, on the wrong fuck mothering monitor because of old Unity. But hey, whatever. Full screen, it works. You know, I'm over to the right monitor. It works. I'm happy with that. Keyboard and gerbil. Unlike Pedro, I only used one gerbil. They work. <laughs> no problems. Um, I'm not living that high frame rate lifestyle, but it does manage to hold 60 at 1080 on the 2060 with no issues, man. But, you know... Uh, just like you, you, if you're watching the video version, you're seeing like a bunch of driving around kind of barren landscape. Imagine if Norman Reedus had wheels and yeah, that would be a whole different death stranding. But Scraps, Scraps basically been the developer's side bitch for eight years. And it kind of shows, man, you know, you got buildable vehicle combat and those games really weren't a thing back in 2013. Well, you know what, kids? The landscape, it's changed a lot in the last eight years. In 2021, you got Robocraft, Besiege, and the like. Now, fair or not, that's what Scraps has to stack up against. And, well, it doesn't. You know, Scraps 1.0 was very much a, I'm done with this project, don't expect updates, only bug fixes release. And that's pretty much what Dude said in the post on uh, Steam. So, let's talk about what you do get. You get that basic build system. What's that feature? You got guns, cooling, armor, engines. You get dropped into a relatively empty map, face off against the Kamikaze AI, collect some scrap, go to the exit, repeat. Now, visually, visually the game is primitive. In-game vehicle physics can be accurately described, generously described as floaty. Um, music's kind of all over the place, man. <laughs> Not really themed, but it is there. And, you know, guns go pew and explosions go boom. It has that. Now, like Jordan, I was kind of hoping multiplayer would spark joy. But alas, it, it there's no one there. It's empty. So there's the one server, like the one official server. And uh, I'm going to say if you're in the market for like a retro tech demo, this might be your thing. But... Like for fourteen ninety nine, this puts it square up against the exact same price as Besiege. I'd say pick that up and have some fun. But hey, big thanks for sending us uh, keys to a finished one point pro project, man. Because you actually ship the damn game, and that is more than so many fucking crowdsourced projects can say. So good on you for that. And you, hey, man. You got it done, you got it out of the way, and you can work on your next thing. But, yeah, um, as far as scraps, even as the 1.0 release, I mean, it's technically functional, and that's all I can say with the two chairs. Yeah, fun functional is a good word to describe this game. Like, de def definitely, definitely way back when, when we were excited to have anything under Linux. The this was, this, yeah, it just... yeah it's, it was great. But, yeah, now now we've seen much better implementations of the same sort of idea. And, and he, it's just, he, it, it yeah, doesn't stack up. Touched on that at his blog post. Um, and, uh, on the page on Steam, I, I suggest everybody go back and read it. And he's like, yeah, like, this is his own genre now. And, yep. like, it didn't even exist when he had the idea of sticking the game together. Mm -hmm. So... And he had so much more stuff planned, like, you know, instead of just the typical car thing, you also had like tank tracks mm -hmm. or maybe floating uh, drone type of robots or things that you could build. That would have been amazing, but uh, we didn't get that. And he kind of lost interest, so... Yeah, maybe maybe in a couple of years, it might be worth it to like release the source to this and then maybe have some people go to town on it. That might be a way to like give this game something of a second life because yeah, on, 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 on it's free, <laughs> well, but it's not open source, Pedro. Right. Open it source makes things open source makes things automatically better, right? Yeah. Right. Just right? Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for us. Coming up next, we got some hate mail. Once again, telling us that recurring payments do exist. But did you know that you could give us money repeatedly by going to patreon.com slash no. You should. If you'd like to let us know what it is that you do and how it pertains to uh, Linux gaming, 
feel free to uh, do so. You, there's a multitude of ways that you can do it. Uh, you can risk the comment section on any of the social medias or YouTube, or the best way that you can actually get in touch with us is to go to linuxgamecast.com. You hit the contact button and you fill out the form. Make sure LGC Weekly is the show that you're sending your hate mail to. Otherwise, we may misinterpret it as some but constructive some feedback. Requirements, man. If you got a crowdfunding <laughs> campaign, you know, and just make sure you got a Linux build. If you're a game developer, man, we won't take a look at your game. So it's three copies. That That's the thing. If you yep. want us to stream it, because there's three of us and we stream independently, we also review the games all three at a time. We got the curator page, but I got a new thing. If you want to be on the show, man, um, Ooh. yeah, just, you know, if you want LGC weekly, weekly, daily Wednesdays, I got a little thing where you can hit it and be like, boom, come down here and be like, hey, man, interview me, motherfuckers, and we will. We'll give you a call back. We'll be in touch. And uh, what about the spam golem? Oh, don't, the spam don't. golem will hit you. The moment you post any kind of URLs on it, <laughs> it'll go, nope. <laughs> uh, there, you, you know what Pedro I, I gotta add one more thing you're a dirty fucking liar the best way to get in contact with us is to do it through our, our Patreon page might win you a copy of Mad Max this is true oh yes <laughs> just one though one Mad Max just one one Mad Max <laughs> it's, Not, it's one Mad Max it, it won't get you beyond Thunderdome but no. it'll 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 get you some I don't know little Tina no Turner, Tina Turner overdrive. unfortunately yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so someone else decided to chime in on the because hey i i was kind of surprised like i didn't know steam had recurring payments and apparently the internet's like shut up grandpa it does <laughs> <laughs> yeah lumkey uh he was like oh yeah recruit uh recurring payments uh have been there for a bit all one word maybe over a year i got surprised one day when i was playing mmo called rift uh then seen i got a charge for monthly payment in steam only part is buggy depend on the game may get changed but end charge, up not getting the game time <laughs> say it in the queen's english damn it <laughs> may not get charged <laughs> damn you charge I, I, I mean yeah Go on. <laughs> no, I was just like, okay, it made sense. Uh, who was it last week? I uh, wrote in, like, yeah, oh, chips. Chips get, yes. also give it a mention. And he's like, yeah, it works for like the MMORPGs and stuff like that. So I, but I, I guess I would assume though, right, for the MMO, I, I didn't, it's me. I didn't think all the way through a clever plan and all that. Yeah, I guess it would have to work with an MMO unless they were like, no, why don't you do it over here and not give Steam any money? I mean, they I mean, could. Uh, the Valve uh, isn't as restrictive Albion. about that as uh, Apple. Right. Albion, Albion Online does that. Their their subscription thing is outside of uh, Steam, even though you can get it through Steam. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Uh, up next, it's from Warren Worthington the Third Angel um, from the Valoran Project. Uh, we 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 talked about them the yeah. other day. Um, they say, "Hey, I'm Pig Murder Simulator." Yes, Voxel Breath with of the gliders, Wild. Now with gliders. Yes, uh, they say I'm the editor for the Valoran devlogs, and it's great to hear you guys mention it. We definitely put it out to try and keep uh, the community up to date, so it's cool that it seems to be well received. I'll let the team know that the glider changes are looking good. Uh, speaking of uh, people who want to come on the show and get interviewed, uh, Valoran devs. Yeah, is the is yeah, scrolling back like, all on. the way to, that you could actually see no. the whole world uh, feature? Or is that just a limitation that was never put in place? Do you know what? I, I want you to like <laughs> geofence Pedro and just disable that just for him. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just block him from like, oh, I got a little hot. <laughs> ceiling. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I want a Mateus ceiling. <laughs> If you detect like a backwards fucking T or four in the user name, don't let them go up at a certain point. Warning, don't line your house with Mateus ceiling. It won't keep you cold out. <laughs> Most games don't limit the word account in the name. This one it's will. It's just Steam and Discord. So. <laughs> Mateus side. <laughs> the sequel to Ender's Game. It is. <laughs> then, oh man, turn turn. Yeah, oh, that'd be great if we could just set up where the pigs just constantly attacked you. <laughs> what it's it's like the scorpion the from scorpion, Serious right. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you know what? Just go for unaccounted for and Pedro in the user's name. It's good. To, it's going to hit someone. I mean, there's going to be not... unintended consequences, but eventually we'll get to him. So yeah, uh, uh, what, what, one one day when he decides to play it fifty years from now, <laughs> you, you gotta go. You gotta commit for the long con. 
Fox feed along guns. Let's talk about that long bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We got to bounce the fuck up out of here. But thanks for joining us. If you want to get in touch with me, same old place, same Vin channel, Vin time, just at Vin Stone on Twitter. That's where I hang out since they shut down Google Plus. No, I still remember you, G Plus. You were a thing. And then uh, if you like that uh, federated social media thing, Civic's nice enough. So we have mast.linuxgamecast.com where I'm just at Vin. That's the thing. I'm Jordan Svung. I'm still making Beyond Thunderdome jokes because Mystery Science Theater has replaced my brain. You can find me at The Burning Fool on Twitter, and I gotta set up NetJack, so I should probably stream something on twitch.tv slash The Burning Fool this week. I'll we'll figure out what. And I am Pedro Mateos. You can find me at an account at four, that's F O U R, on Twitter. And if you bust at an account at four on mass.linuxgamecast.com with the actual number four. So, yeah, that, that, that's the thing. I, I don't post anything also, to Mastodon. <laughs> new rule. If you add me as a friend on our Mastodon instance and you don't have like a user avatar, I just assume you're a fucking bot. No, I don't. I won't accept that. Beep boop. Beep fucking boop, bitches. <laughs> Time for credits. <laughs> Yeah. It didn't move at all. No, you're not. You're not seeing that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you're breaking the it illusion. It was already centered. <laughs> Competence. <laughs> what? Competence? Competence. There was nev- we, we never said anything about competency. Oh, no, 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 sir. We got to thank our executive producers. Alias, Barb Ramp, Scott M, Mr. Fox Dog out there in the Atomic Ass, Mike G, Mr. Mike T. Han, uh, our one T. remaining Hans. little Nikki, little Nikki fan, Darkwing. <laughs> And our sea monsters. Great. Now, Jack. I want, now I want to tape like tea mugs. Yeah. Down. Paul, Paul, Civic, uh, Verdanuda, <laughs> Justin, and Frosty the Clawman. We got our beautiful Death Notes Nova K, Basil, Chad P, Romero, V, uh, Marcin, System T, Craig H, Renee, Leonardo, Doc, Kim, Smash, Chris, Stephen, Joe. And all of the amazing channelings like Jason oh, you're not, you're not gonna, Kyle, Okay, I was about to say, you don't get to bitch out like that. Kyle Linux <laughs> Cast, Gronka Delonka, Linux Nuru, S. Michelle, Nubbin, Mr. Alert, Mr. Amish, Vlaunir, Linux Noob, Daniel L., Douglas L., and A. There's uh, Thomas T., uh, Jonas Rulo, Ryan J., Ephedra P., Nathan W., Dementor, Zeno, and that Daniel. doesn't exist. Or My does it? Yes. Da, 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 Daniel. <laughs> I thought my name was Nixon. Daniel Nixon the third. Dynafire beauty. It was an amnesia. We'll see next reference. Week. <laughs> Daniel Nixon. Five dudes. <laughs>